In this video, we'll learn about the measurement features in Geometer Sketchpad. Measurement is useful when we're doing investigations. We can ask ourselves questions about properties of squares and triangles and things like that. Um, if we go to the measure menu right now, we notice that there's actually no options highlighted here. And that's because we don't have anything on our screen to measure yet. So let's draw something. Let's draw a triangle. So use our segment tool. Make our first segment, second segment, and third segment. All right, so now we have some things to measure, but if we go to the measure menu, again, nothing is highlighted. And that's because measurements have what we call prerequisites. There are things that we have to have selected in order to be able to measure them. So for example, if I want to measure the length of this segment, I have to select the segment using my selection tool. And now when I go to the measure menu, I have the length option. I also, by the way, have a slope option and some other options that we won't really talk about, but feel free to explore with this menu. If I click the length option, a few things happen. One is that I get a length, which is good. The other thing that happens is that I, the Geometer Sketchpad automatically puts labels on these points that didn't have labels before. Let me make those a little bigger for you so you can see them. So I get labels on these points. And so that way Geometer Sketchpad can say that it's the distance from A to B and not this segment that didn't really have a name before. Now it has a name, it's the distance from A to B. Uh, another way to measure distance is to, instead of selecting the line segment itself, let's select the two points. So if I have two points selected and I go to the measure menu and select distance, then once again I get a distance. And again, this is measured in centimeters. If we don't want that, if we want something measured in a different way, we can do go to the edit menu and go to preferences. And under units, we can change the way that we measure distances. Instead of centimeters, we can change it to pixels or inches. So if I changed it to inches, say OK, notice that the distances here change accordingly. The prerequisites are very picky. So if I were, for example, moving this distance around, let's say I wanted it to be above the other distance. And now I say, oh, well, I've got a third distance that I want to measure. So let me go over here and select this uh, line segment. If I go to the measure menu, I might be confused. I might say, why isn't it letting me uh, measure the length of this line segment. And the reason is that I don't only have that line segment selected. I also have this text box selected. And that may seem very picky to you, but that's how Geometer Sketchpad is. So instead what I want to do is make sure that I click in empty space so that I deselect everything. And now I'll go over and select this line segment. And if I go to the measure menu, my length option reappears. So I get my third distance. So the important thing for Geometer Sketchpad when we're doing measurements, or, or anything with prerequisites, is to make sure that you have only the prerequisites selected and nothing else. If you do that right, then you won't get any sort of strange behavior. Okay, so that's how we measure distances. What about angles? To measure an angle, we want to select three points of that angle. And we have to do it very carefully. So one, two, three. So I've selected A, and then I clicked C, and then I clicked B. And if I go to measure angle, the angle that I got measured was the angle that has C as its vertex. The second point that I clicked is the vertex of the angle. Let me just highlight this a little better with the marker tool. This angle over here, that's the angle that I selected when I clicked the points in that order. If I were to select the points in a different order, let's say A, then B, then C, and I go to measure angle, even though it's the same three points selected, since I clicked them in a different order, I get a different angle. This time I get this angle over here at B. Notice also that if I now drag the points of this triangle around, I'm changing the measurements. So the measurements automatically update themselves as I change my uh, objects on the screen. Let's do one more thing. If we want to do a calculation with the measurements that we have, we can do that under the number menu. There's the calculate option. And what this opens up for me is a little calculator thing. But what it allows me to do is to take my measurements and use them to perform calculations. So if, for example, I wanted the perimeter of this triangle, I have the three lengths of the sides, but what if I wanted to know what the sum of those three measurements is? Well, then I can just simply click them one at a time and then click the plus, click this one, plus this one, and hit OK. And now I get a new measurement that is the sum of these three measurements. And again, that automatically updates itself as I drag my points around. So take a chance to play with measurements, make sure that you've got your prerequisites working, and uh, make sure that you're seeing these kinds of measurements in action.